Good day to all senior high school students. My name is Teacher Grace. And I am Teacher Carl. Your presenters for the Happy Sabera Teleducacion Bread and Pastry Grade 12 TV lesson. It's an amazing day, Teacher Carl. How are you? I am doing good, Teacher Grace. I hope you're doing perfectly well. Do you know what's the popular news around town, Teacher Carl? What's that? There's a newly opened bake mm. shop just a few blocks from here. Their cakes, bread, and pastries are to die for. Oh, really? I love eating all those. They're my favorite. I'll find time to visit that bake shop. Teacher Carl, have you been in a bake shop and got the chance to observe how these pieces of bread and cakes were made? I only went there to buy what I want to eat, but never in my entire life have I seen them do baking with my own naked eyes. Now, I'm getting curious. Earlier, we were talking about bread, pastries, and cakes. Do you know that most bakers have undergone training before they can produce quality baked bread, pastries, and cakes? These and more are the things that we'll be learning today. We want you all to watch and perceptively listen in order for you to understand the concept of this course. Kaibigan, huwag ka na munang lumabas ng inyong bahay. Maliban na lang kung bibili ng pagkain o may emergency. Tandaan ang mga sumusunod. Kung kailangang lumabas ng bahay ngayong may enhanced community quarantine, magsuot ng mask. Siguruhing may isang metro ang layo sa ibang tao. Magdala lagi ng alcohol o alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Huwag hawakan ang iyong mukha. Bago naman pumasok ng bahay, maghugas ng kamay gamit ang tubig at sabon sa loob ng 20 segundo o kaya mag-alkohol o sanitizer. Isprayan ng disinfectant ang mga sapatos at iwan ang mga gamit sa may pintuan. Maligo at ilagay ang pinaghubaran sa hiwalay na laundry bag at labahan agad. Ilagay sa hiwalay na tapunan ang mga gamit na gloves at face masks sa loob ng tatlong araw bago itapon at ipakolekta. Sa wastong pag-iingat, ang virus hindi kakalat. COVID-19, kayang-kaya nating tapusin. It's learning time! This TV lesson is anchored on the Capsulized Self-Learning Enhancement Tool, also known as Capslet. I hope you were able to receive your copy from your advisor, which will serve as your guide in this episode. So, are you ready to learn with us? That's, That's great. great! Make yourself comfortable this time and prepare your bread and pastry grade 12 capsulet, quarter 1, week 1, day 1 to 3 lesson for this particular session on the core concepts, relevance of the course, and explore opportunities in bread and pastry production. It is expected that you'll be able to understand core concepts, relevance of the course, and explore opportunities in bread and pastry production. Before we'll start, let us introduce first our guest teacher. Teacher Manny Tumalon from Isabella City National High School is with us to assist our senior high students about the topic for today. Students, be ready now and listen to Teacher Manny as he talks about the core concepts, relevance of the course, and explore opportunities in bread and pastry production. Hi there, grade 12 students. I am Teacher Manny P. Tumalon, your guest for today. Do you have an idea about bread and pastry production? Bread and pastry production is a process by which food is subjected to dry heat in an enclosed device called oven. The most common to bake is bread, but many other types of food are baked. Students of bread and pastry production and the program are trained in using modern baking techniques, equipment, tools, and utensils. Students are also taught about different presentation methods, sanitation, and safety. The following core structure for bread and pastry production are basic, common, and core competencies. Let's start with basic competencies. First is to participate in workplace communication. Second, 
work in a team environment. Third, practice career professionalism. And fourth, practice occupational health and safety procedure. Those are the basic competencies of bread and pastry production. This time, we'll proceed on its common competencies. Number one, develop and update industry knowledge. Number two, observe workplace hygiene procedures. Number three, perform computer operations. Number four, perform workplace and safety practices. And number five, provide effective customer service. Class, do you have any questions about the common competencies? If not, then let's proceed to the core competencies. There are five core competencies of bread and pastry. These are, first, prepare and produce bakery products such as pan de sal, cinnamon roll, Spanish bread, and cheese bread. Second, prepare and produce pastry products such as cookies, pies, and tarts. Third, prepare and present gatu, tortas, and cakes such as cakes or layered cakes and roll cakes. Fourth, prepare and display petit fours, any desserts that composes of one to two bites only. And the fifth, present desserts such as salad, leche plan, maha blanca, pudding, gelatin, and delight cakes. Students, the following are the career opportunities in bread and pastry production NC2 graduates. You can be a kitchen helper who cleans and sanitizes kitchen equipment. Plant bakers work for bread factories using machinery to produce bread and pastry products. In-store bakers, these people produce bread and baked goods in a retail store. Master craft bakers, much more likely to bake from scratch and are usually employed by a small-scale independent bakery or a restaurant kitchen. Bakery owner are entrepreneurs who create signature baked goods, build their own brand, and manage the business side of the shop. Cake designers and decorators use artistic talent and technical skills to create delicious cakes with artful platter, ornamentation, and sculptural elements. Line Cook is the chef designated to take charge of a certain area of food production, such as cake and dessert, preparation, and other related products. Bakery Sanitation Manager are responsible for general sanitation of the plant, looking after all on-the-job activities, product safety, legality, and quality. Bakery technologists are the ones responsible for the development, creating, launching, and implementing new products and commercialization of new and existing products. Caterer are those plants, makes transports, and serves food for meeting, parties, weddings, and a host of other events. Food stylist, who prepares and styles food for photography and video shoots. And the last we have is pastry chefs. They are in charge of and trained in production of desserts pastries, and breads. So, do you have your choice now, class, as to what career you are going to be in? That's the spirit! So, let's wrap it up. Let us answer the questions based on the concepts presented a while ago. Are you ready? I'm pretty sure that you are all excited. Let's begin with this question. What do you call the process 
by which food is subjected to dry heat than enclosed device called oven, where most common bake is bread, but many other types of food are baked. You're right! The correct answer is bread and pastry production. How many competencies do bread and pastry has? What are those? Very good! You're right! There are three competencies. Basic, Common, and Core competencies. Of the career opportunities, who do you think is the in charge of training to train in the production of desserts, pastries, and breads? Wow, amazing! That's right! Pastry Chef is on the top. You all did well. Very good. Again, this is Teacher Manny. Goodbye! Nasistress ka na ba? Nagpapanik o natatakot dahil sa COVID-19? Normal lang ang ganitong mga reaksyon sa ngayon. Pero may magagawa ka para mapagtagumpayan ang sitwasyon na ito. Ituloy lang ang pangangamusta sa mga kamag-anak at kaibigan gamit ang text, tawag o video. Tiyakin na ang mga bata ay ligtas at nasa maayos na kalagayan. Kung ikaw ay nasa-stress na, huwag itong ibaling sa kanila. Tandaan, ano man ang iyong reaksyon ay maaaring makaapekto sa kanilang emosyon. Gawin sa bahay ang mga nakasanayan upang hindi mabagot o mabalisa sa panahong ito. Basta, siguruhin protektado ka laban sa COVID-19. Magdala ng good vibes sa bahay. Sa wastong pag-iingat, ang virus hindi kakalat. COVID-19, kayang-kaya nating tapusin. Thank you, Teacher Marnie, for helping our dear grade 12 students about the topic for today. You have just learned about the core concepts, relevance of the course, and explore opportunities in bread and pastry production. If you have questions, feel free to write them down and send them to your teacher through text or call. For sure, they would be very glad to answer them. Now, it's time for some reminders. After watching this TV lesson, review the know and remember portion of your capsulet. I know you can do it by yourself. If not, you can also ask some assistance from your parents or anyone who is knowledgeable enough to help you out. If you're done, prepare your own answer sheet and answer the five item exercise written on your cup step. I know that you can answer these questions. Just read the directions carefully and comprehend so you will have more correct answers. Alright! Right. See that? Lesson becomes easy because I'm definitely sure you were watching and listening attentively. On our next episode, you will be learning about how to select, measure, and weigh required ingredients according to recipe or production requirements here at Happy Sabella Teleducacion! We'll be seeing each other again for sure! So, take your break and prepare for your next TV lessons. Again, this is Teacher Grace. And I am Teacher Carl saying, Baking is an exact science which needs exact selection, measurement, and weight. Until next time, goodbye!